quickly during an emergency is critical and right now New Jersey is facing a shortage of volunteer EMTs. Some volunteer squads have folded and others are merging with paid ambulance services, shifting the burden to taxpayers. Eyewitness News New Jersey reporter Cleve Bryan is in Salem tonight with more on this growing problem. Cleve. Yuki, the reason you see two different ambulance trucks behind me is because many towns like Salem here have had to turn to their neighbors for help to overcome this shortage of volunteer EMTs. If you want to know what a volunteer ambulance squad wants for Christmas these days, just ask Captain Cameron Kegel of the Fenwick squad in Salem, New Jersey. I would love to have my staff to be about 20 people. Right now they only have 10 and only half of them are EMT certified. The training requirements to become certified in New Jersey have more than doubled this decade and people willing to put in the hours as volunteers have fallen by the wayside. When we do recruit somebody, they're all gung-ho. And then they start finding out, well, wait a minute, I can't make that because um, I can't get a sitter. Or I can't make that because I have my second job to do. The volunteer shortage is being felt throughout the Garden State as the EMS Council of New Jersey has lost a quarter of their volunteer squads. Many like Fenwick are merging with nearby towns that have paid ambulance services, which can add to the tax burden. Experts say the state needs to make changes like modifying EMT training schedules and locations to better accommodate volunteers home and work lives. We need volunteers, but the legislators need to somehow step up and help these towns to try to recruit people, make it easier for them, make the training easier, make it rewarding. In the meantime, squads like Fenwick will continue to feel the staffing pinch, especially around the holidays when emergency calls increase and it's the same small number of volunteers dashing off to help. Christmas Day is one of our busiest days, so you, know, you finally open presents with your kids or your family and then up, we got to go on a call. You know, it's, just, it's hard to do and I don't expect anyone to do it all the time. It's hard. So Yuki, that leaves us with the question, how can all of us help? Well, you can volunteer to become an EMT or support someone that has that passion. Live in Salem, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you so much.